What's up, mother lovers? It's me, your main girl Margie, and today we're going to be doing cooking and whatnot. Our first item today is Pepsi Max soup. And you know what you're thinking? Margie, what? So I have made this recipe before, and this is fan dabby dozy. It was absolutely bloody brilliant. Here are the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe, ladies. 1 Pepsi Max can, 250 grams or 9 ounces of plain flour, you know, a red oxo cube, we've got that here, some cabbage, or, bear with me, bear with me on this, and to spice up a little bit, and I choose a bit of short bread, I think it just basically adds a nice mix to it all I do. Also for your tools you're going to need a nice big bowl, a very sharp knife, and a very modest chopping board. You're going to want to get your bowl of flour and you're going to want to see you can use a sterler or something but personally I choose knife handles because uh, it's easy. I'm just going to stir this around a bit and uh, you bang the bowl a bit. You're going to just make sure and then give it a bit of a swirl <coughs> that it's um, all in the middle. When it's all in the middle like this you're going to get your knife and you're going to make a little cross pattern. Now for the non-religious people here, a cross is like this. So you go down and you go a little across. After you've done that, you're not going to be putting an egg in this like you might think. You're going to be getting your can of Pepsi Max and you're just going to pour it all in here. Actually, personally, I wouldn't try pouring it all in first, just want to see what happens. So as you can see, this is what we've conjured up on our first lovingly sterlet. It looks like sick. Now it may look and smell a bit bad, but then so do I in the morning, eh ladies, you know what I mean? Just keep on stirring this. If it's a bit dry, you're going to want to just add a bit more Pepsi. It's, it's such a interesting consistency, I think we'll say. The bubbles do, I think, help quite a bit. Um, okay, that looks about done. Now, ladies, if you're nice a bit gooey like mine, then you're going to want to really carefully place it on your chopping board like this. Is this completely empty? It is now. So, next up we want to do is you're going to give it a bit of a shake like this. Just a, just a bit of a... Side to side, this is what it should look like now, ladies. Are you gonna close up on that, Stephen? Mm -hmm. Lovely. Then you don't want to get the big game changer, the Oxo Cube. Now, ladies, you might have seen what happened last time I ate one of these. I'm gonna put it here. <laughs> oh, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> it wasn't pleasant. So, I basically blame the lovely ladies at ITV's Take Me Out for that one, and I will not be attempting any of the sort again. But it did get me quite a lot of views, so actually maybe I will. So we're going to get this little um, oxo cube packety thing. And you're going to want to get this. And maybe a bit of foil for uh, flavouring. I like to call it a bit of foil for flavouring. And then you're just going to give this a bit of a stir. This is how we're going to make our base mix. Now, this is actually quite an easy bit. Uh, it does get a lot more complex after this step. So we just have to have to break up the oxo cube with a knife or sterling mechanism and do it. Lovely. It should maybe look something like this. If it doesn't, you're probably doing better than I have. So, what's the soup without the bits, um, the odds and ends of the kitchen, you know, the bits of staleness? When I was a young uh, nun, Jesus loving teen, I used to make something called a connectico. And that basically was anything I'd find in the kitchen, the clack den, and I'd put it into one lovely con connectico, as I just said it's called. I think I killed people with them, but don't rally, we won't, because I feel I'm going to be the one eating it. So, at this point, the gravy granules might have started to rise to the surface a little bit, but this is our shortbread. You can use anything really, pastry, you know, tears, people. I have dropped it in. We were going for sprinkling, but now it seems it's going to be shortbread flavoured. As you add and add, and you do liquefy these things as you add them, you may notice that the consistency is going a bit smoother. Now, are biscuits still in here? 
uh, in this, it hasn't been decomposed by the acid and Pepsi Max yet, but uh, as you can see, we are doing quite well actually. So, um, stab it a little bit, might help. I think there's a hair in here. Yeah, now we're heading into our main additive. Our main additive for this recipe is some lovely cabbage. Now, the best thing to do is to get some cabbage which is out of date. This went off the 20th of January, which is actually when I filmed the first two episodes of this show. So it is a little bit out of date now, considering what we're on episode whatever. Right, lovely. This is a much better angle. You can see our delicious mixture and our new cabbage. You want to penetrate through this plastic layer because plastic is for silly people. You know what? A good cook always experiments. Now we've got our cabbage, we're just going to want to start slicing it like this. This knife is about as dull as my videos, so it might take a while. Doesn't this just look delicious, ladies? I would 150% recommend using cabbage. I Lettuce has had adverse effects on me. It, I don't like lettuce. So here will be your chopped up cabbage. I'm only using around a seventh of a cabbage and then just chopping this up finely. Don't want you escaping. You're not going anywhere. Well, that went good, actually. So, now you've got this. I'm just going to get your bowl, put it on your lovely nun, trous, nun robes, and gently pour this all in and chuck it on the floor. Isn't it a shame we don't have smell vision yet, eh? I'm going to get the microphone and bring it closer for you, so you can just get a sound of what's going on. It's the best bit by far. So ladies, let's begin. <coughs> oh fuck. <coughs> oh. Jesus Christ, forgive me for what I have done. So ladies, if you like the video, why not hit that mother hecking like button down below and hit subscribe to Llama Fluff to get the best System RG videos weekly. Whoa! Isn't that absolutely radical? You can see it on my chin and I feel like I'm gonna flop again. Well hey ladies. I was up late night balling so far from my past misfortune. No sleeping, late nights, no eating, gun squeezing. I'm a real artesian, Ramona. I was round that counter, still down. I'm a north, north soldier. G slide, right down Sawyer. When we slide, you won't see morning. 